Nice. Oh my god. Easy Katka. Finally. Good job. Come on, man. Nice. And this was probably one of the craziest battles I've ever had. As a light tank you are very limited on getting good spotting damage on this map, so I always opt for the 1-2 line, using my superior view range and exploiting the fact that I can spot most enemies through the bushes, thanks to CVS. No damage still. This guy is perma spotted, he doesn't know that. You also might be wondering why I only start out with 8 shells, that is because I am currently doing a minigame with the Manticore on stream. After every non-penetrating shot or miss that I fire, I have to take away a shell from the next battle. And I can put the shell back in when I have more than 8000 combined damage per battle. I am doing this minigame on my stream at twitch.tv slash kaizu, so if you like watching insane lighting gameplay, you might want to check me out when I'm alive. That could be sick man if this guy would die. Oh, look at that damage boys. Look at that damage flowing in bruh. He didn't spot me! He didn't spot me, chat. Did you see that? I killed the E4 at point blank and he didn't spot me for that. The Leos, I think, they both went away already. Fortunately, I have Panzer missed. Now, unfortunately, he is dead. Nice. I'm still not spotted, chat. There's only... Uh... Our 260, he could have helped us repush this man, but he didn't help us. Let's go back. Let's try something. As you can see, our team has lost all positions on the map, and there is nothing more I can do from the bush position. So I try back in order to have some shots at the guys that might be pushing our E100. I don't want to lose more shots, bro. How is he spotting me, man? This guy, now does this guy have a 260, man? Oh, bro. You think he paid for it, chat? I am not sure. Uh. Can I repush the 1 2 line? Oh, really? Kong or Kran? Come on, Effie, you got him. Get him, boy. Oh, no, he shouldn't be on. Well, I mean, they're all low except the gorilla. And I think this guy is perma spotted. I don't think he's gonna fade yet, but there's no one to shoot him, so... Look how close this game was, man. Damn. Currently, it is a 2v5 situation. Me and the 260 have fairly okay positions from which we can support one another, yet I still thought it was already over, but is it possible to turn this around and win the game? Let's see. I mean... 5.6k combined almost is 5.6k combined guys, I mean, what should I be, what should I be worried about, huh, kick L, PvP gamer, wait, what, I can get this TV, This is actually close. I only have two shells though. The TVP is a one shot, yet he's aiming down at me, which makes it really hard for me to change positions, and this favors the enemy team since they have the whole map for themselves. There is also an unspotted full HP gorilla, so our chances to win the game still look pretty slim. Uh. Bro, this game was so close, man. <laughs> you missed! Oh my god! How is this even close? I need help. I have no more ammunition left, bro. Stupid challenge. I think I'm gonna have to go do some scouting. Our only chance is me trying to get away towards the one to and then spot the TVP, giving our 260 a chance to finish him off while the TVP is distracted. We need to spot TVP. I think the gorilla meant AFK. Where is this TVP, man? Did it just go away? Look at this! Look at this shit! <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful! This is a miracle chat! There's no way! I'm gonna check up there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no way, dude! He slipped! <laughs> this 
gonna be the craziest victory I've ever had in my entire World of Tanks career. And I mean the entire World of Tanks career, bro. Oh, you just love to see it, man. You just love to see it, bro. Look at that boy. Look at that boy, man. Oh, that's beautiful. 7k spotting man on cliff bro cliff wait you can shoot this guy here he's gotta repair that wait the ice sunk oh i thought he crossed towards me they have nobody here on this corridor that's weird I have to be careful, man, because my tank is longer. Come play with me, IS7. Come on, let's let's be let's be friends. I don't want to commit inside just yet, man. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some TD gamer. Yep, as you can see, once again, I'm not shooting any gold on the one to one. If I'd hit here, I would pan every single shot on his shoulder plate. But RNG compensates me big time in a sec. I could cheese his engine deck. <laughs> no fucking nah 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 yet. No no way. And I want to do something, but. Let's have some fun IS-7, huh, shall we? Minus. Minus. If we don't really have any map control. I mean, to be fair, man, playing here is not the worst position. When they push, you can do damage. Whenever you have a 1-2-2mm or a higher caliber gun and the projectile is pushing, you can just shoot him in the tracks since you will overmatch his armor and track him at the same time. Nice push. Not many people know, but the 1 to 1 has super nice reload, and this position allows me to cheese those threes in case they push me one by one. Uh oh. Uh oh. No repair kit, sir. I remember. Uh oh. Guess, guess, pass. Easy. FET will push soon, TM, man. <laughs> of course, man. But as I said, man, this position is pretty okay, man, if you get pushed, it's gonna come again. The wreck in front of me and this little rebel gives me easy shots towards the FETD. Hmm. Gonna repair that. Winnable. Na ball. I realize that the gorilla can also be shot from a hold down position. I think that sucks, man. It's this gorilla. So if I get lucky, I can kill him with a single HE shot since the alpha is 530. I lower on him. I get some help from the STRE. I'm spotted. Nice. I need to kill the gorilla. Both the FE and the gorilla are one shot. I expect the FE to have pushed back a bit and I proceed to go and hunt for the gorilla. After not having found him in his previous position, I get kind of confused and start checking out the entire middle section of the map looking for those two. But there is absolutely no trace of them. Where could they be? My best bet is to just go for the STRV and help him. Kill him? He has an angle. He has an angle on that guy. I'm gonna get already here. Yeah? After having found the gorilla, I noticed that the Leo is very healthy. He's got 1.3k HP, which means I'll need 4 shells to kill him while just having 2 shots of HP myself. Plus, they have an RT. Of course, he hits that, bro. That Leo got very lucky with that position and he successfully landed an insane shot at my cupola. Meanwhile, the enemy already has started capping so that means I'll have to be very quick with all my actions. And for some reason the Leo doesn't push me at all even though I'm a one shot. He just runs away for some reason and resets the fight. Dude, you're full HP. 
I really don't understand this decision of running away as it makes zero sense. He can take even four shots before he goes down if he gets lucky. But since he's away and I'm unspotted, I decide that my only chance of trying to win this battle is to go after the capping artillery piece, kill him and then try to use the bushes at the red line for cover for when the Leo finally comes after me. You're not gonna push me, man, are you? Judging this Leo's behavior from his previous actions of running away and avoiding direct confrontation, I truly believe that he was not going to push me at this point, and since there was only 35 seconds left of the match, I make a decision to push him. Since if I can just bounce a single shot of his, I will probably outreload him and will be able to pick him up and win the game. He's not gonna push me, dude, there's no way. Oh my god, he actually does. He makes such a big mistake, dude. If I would have stayed, I would have killed him, man. That made no sense. Literally, man. I, he would have taken another shot for that. But I have to risk it. I thought he wouldn't push there. And and if he wouldn't have hit that shot, man, on me, on my cupola there, like, it would have been amazing, dude. Whenever you are playing Westfield from either side, it is very important to spot out all the crossing tanks on the zero line, thus giving your teammates a chance to shoot them. This tank is particularly amazing to fight in this position here, since you have a very bouncy medium-like armor and you're very flat with huge DPM, making it very much possible to take the fight up against enemy mediums and lights using the various hardman positions found here. Don't for the game, dude. Okay. We have successfully secured the position with the help of the Object 140, thus allowing us to wreak havoc on all the enemy tanks that stayed here, as now they will be caught in a never-ending crossfire from all angles. Easy. And now guys, they have no bad shit, they have no light tanks, we're just gonna perma spot those Leos. We can shoot them all day, every day, man, until they fall back. He's not even trying to go back, man. Why? Okay. okay. As a light tank player, it is of the utmost importance to win the open field here, since after that you can just run down around the red line towards the enemy base, as if you have enough U range and are running CVS, you will be able to spot all their camping TDs on the opposing ridge lines, giving free damage to your team and ramping up your spotting damage. As you can see, these two TDs are getting completely shredded apart and they have no idea where I am. Sorry, I'm just trying to light tank here. After your team can no longer see those TDs, you can make your way a little down towards their base, since you have some bushes that you can use as cover to be able to shoot without being spotted. We spot the art here and I'm going to deliver him quickly into the garage and after that I'm going to have to make my way away because the enemy team is completely on the top side and they're gonna try to push down the 1-2 line and I also see that this 2 6 4 is up as an easy kill. I will load AP here because I can just overmatch his upper plate here as he's very very de-angled and I already get the shot by the STB so that means I will be able to really really fast and run away from this position here because otherwise we're gonna get caught and the team is committed underneath the hill now there's a huge age difference of 8,000 to 13,000 actually and we are probably going to lose those two guys the STB and the CS as the other STB is pushing down towards them and I'm going to try to provide as much fire support as I can the T100 actually has pretty nice DPM even without the usage of rammer and you guys are going to see that this firepower is actually pretty outstanding and I'm going to be able to make quite a big impact here on towards the enemy team and there's a little bit of RNG involved of course with these shots as the gun is very very inaccurate it's like 043 dispersion at 100 meters which is really not that great but I'm going to try to do my best here supporting this projecto as well if I keep those two guys spotted that's going to give my projecto an extra chance to shoot them and it is going to be very very useful since they just cannot push this projecto for free and 77 got himself completely locked into the open here and I'm going to take him down as soon as my RNG will say yes and now I can already see that the enemy E6 has realized where his teammates are taking fire from and he's going to try to chase me down on the K line which means I'll have to be very careful with my consequent actions one important thing to mention is that their HP difference looks very significant at this point, but in reality, it isn't that bad. If my object 268 relocates to be able to support me on this side, that would mean that the E6 could be caught, as he does not have the best camo value, and if the E6 dies, that means that the enemies will only have big, fat, sluggish tanks with no camo value left, which I can easily outplay, and the only thing that is going to keep me from doing that is my own shell capacity. Unfortunately, our FET didn't realize that we have to play as passive as possible, relying on my spot on this side, as he goes down towards the enemy FET that is a huge 
huge loss to our tanks. Wow, it's not even the E6 that comes, it's the Honda. The EVA 100 actually climbs all the way up here and the crown also appears right behind him. And I see the enemy E6 is pushing under the bridge so I try to use the gap between their forces to get away. I spot out the EVA 100 and shorted that after the crown and I'm able to land a killing shot on him. At this point in time there is a very very slim chance of me winning this round and if you do the maths my shell capacity allows me to kill all the enemy tanks regarding the total amount of HP they have. The only real problem here is the fact that they started the cap which means that my potential positions that I can reset from has been greatly reduced to just the top side since the EVA 100 and E6 are still looking for me on the K line. If somehow I can kill this E4 and that would definitely help a lot. Unfortunately I get a very unlucky timing with the way I draw and it spots me. If I drove a little bit more deep this could have been avoided and they would still have no idea where I was. You can sometimes see that even though you have the view range of the Eye of Sauron and are running CVS these magical TDs can stay unspotted behind bushes and if I could kill this E4 right here that would definitely help a lot. What? That's bullshit, mate. That shot was really unlucky and even though I could successfully reset the base, the E6 and E4 are spotted right beside me and I'm left with no other choice but to rely on orange Jesus and hope that the epic didn't misses. Dodge the epic did shot, man, somehow and... EBR? Come on, come on boys, be big gamers man, nice. Come on guys, you got this. You all need to listen man, this guy, nice finally, good job. EPR is not here, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go up dude. You guys can come a bit forward. Come a bit forward because you're not gonna see the red line. Oh my god. Easy Katka. Easy Katka. So I got to the spotting bush over here and I will need to be extremely careful since the EPR is circling beneath me like a vulture. He cannot spot me out anyhow unless he comes closer than 50 meters of me and proxies me. Man, I'll give him a VIP man. Nah. Keg. One two line player 279 shit! What is that bro? Whenever you have the chance of just moving a little bit around, do not get proxy, do it! Don't just sit around and do nothing, try to actively look at the distance between you and the enemy EPR and drive around a little bit to stay hidden. With tanks at the Manti, you will never be spotted about 50 meters behind bushes. You cannot be serious man. Come on man, he's literally in front of you. Come on man. Nice. And I was worried man. Effie? Nice. Like, EBR is never gonna spot me unless he proxies me. Like, no way. I'm gonna start going down the 1 2 now. Leo. Nice. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Leo, come on, Leo in the open, guys. Hello? Uh, whose spot was that TVP, man? Was it yours? Oh my god. Nice. Nice.
This guy's gonna push me out, man. Once again, I mean, just look how ridiculously close I can stay to the enemy tanks and spot them through the bushes thanks to the overpowered light setup. It is truly a miracle. Man, come on, kill him. Nice, finally, good. Listen, listen, no, 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 stay, 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 just don't get spotted, don't get spotted. You are the only useful member of my team. Just, just aim it for the FP, man. Look, Leo. And if you like this light and gameplay, then check out my previous video too. You will love it. I don't understand this player, bro. This man... Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Now, look at that. Look at that shit, bro. Nice. I'll spot the FP again. It's not AFK. D4. Can I spot all three at the same time? I think I can. Come on. You gotta shoot the FP, bro. Nice. Nice. 15k, man. Let's go. We didn't break our record, man. 8k damage, man. See? What a gamer, bro. In this battle, I thought I would try Clicky Baby's famous T95 setup. Yep, you're seeing it right. He doesn't use repair kits or a rammer. Instead, he uses this setup. Well, let's see if he's indeed a mastermind. Oh, they have an Isu. Perfect. The T54 is shooting AP, man. He's gonna load heat, I think. Still, still. Is this up there in that bush? Where is he? PTA, man. I need those guys to support me. If the LT flanks me, they will come. I know, man. I can see it in their eyes. Look, this guy's already running away, man. Easy, man. Look, I told you. Big gaming right there. Thank you, Saul. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe this actually works, man. This is the stupidest shit I've ever done in this game. I think the small gun is much better, man. Because you're you are you can't defend yourself when you play big gun. You know? Ow. Guys. Guys. I'm impenetrable. 279 is nothing compared to me. 279. What the fuck? I can't, I can't, I have to angle towards the Isu. Bro. I'm I literally solo winning this game, man, for the team. That's guilty, bro. Finally, he's dead, man. Took 10 minutes. 3k. Sorry. 5k. Uh, 5.6k blocked. I think it's time to push this Yusu, guys. Uh, that's my boy. 7k combined, guys, in less than 4 minutes. Look at this snipe, guys. Look at this snipe. Bruh. Bruh. Look, he's there. There you go. There you go, man. 
this tank is just uh, i don't know man it's uh, it's something else guys if you like the video please hit the like button as it helps me out a lot as a content creator and for the equipment used in the video please share the description and as always Rock me stone cold.